It's the 14th of April. I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath, and you're watching News 24 Live. Let's have a look at newspaper front pages, and we'll start on the front page of The Star. Group of ANC MPs planning president's downfall, says Speaker Mbete, and the anti Zuma plot thickens. Underneath that, it says it's not the first conspiracy claim, and a quote here in fact, this may just embolden him to seek a third term as ANC president. On the front page of the Pretoria News plot to unseat Jay-Z, some ANC MPs look to oust the president. That's according to Baleka Mbete. And underneath that, Maya Mane is a front runner for top job, of course referring to the DA leadership, as Mazibuko rules out return for now. Tweeting yesterday from the US, where she's currently studying at Harvard University, Lindiwe Mazibuko confirmed that she would not be returning to South Africa in order to run for the DA's top position after Helen Zilla said that she would step down. On the front page of the Cape Times, here we have Maya Mane likely to win race. Mazibuko will not run for election. And again, more news of the DA leadership struggle now on the front page of Die Burke. Here we have Zilla bowing out of the race and the front runners for the leadership. Here we have Maimane, Delo, uh, Moody, James and Mania. And the people who will not be running. Um, here we have Mazibuko and Trollope. On the front page of Folksblatt, more news of Zilla choosing to stand down from the elective conference happening in May. On the front page of The Witness, something highly reported on on News24. In fact, you can visit News24 Live to see video footage. Durban spiraling out of control. Cops overrun as shops are looted in Komashu. It's all got to do with xenophobic violence. And you can find all the information from our journalists on the ground on News24. On the front page of The Times, Malawi, Somalia to save terrified citizens. Mantasha's call for refugee camps slammed. On the front page of the Citizen, SA losing its way, referring, of course, to um, various statues that have been defaced. This particular one of Mahatma Gandhi in Johannesburg that has paint thrown on it. More news of statues on the front page of the Herald. Victoria statue suspect released. More evidence sought after Walsh, who was 24, appears in court. On the front page of the Daily Dispatch, Tuli orders officials to explain Mandela funds. Prosecutor issues subpoenas to 20 to query lost millions. The Cape Argus, one toilet for 500 school kids. And finally, on the front page of the Sowetan, how female pilot got her wings. A happy story above a really tragic one, a man kills girl over beer. We'll be keeping you updated on these stories and more. Stay tuned to News 24 Live.